Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin here from the Vanderkinverse. Back again, I got another unboxing video. This time it's the Google Nest Protect uh, combination smoke detector and carbon monoxide detector. Okay. So first, let's talk about safety. I uh, learned something new in my research in looking up all things Google. So we've got the Google speakers, we've got Google uh, home automation devices, Google Nest thermostats. Anyway, while looking at it, I thought, well, I should check out the Google uh, Protect, which is the smoke detector. Well, it turns out smoke detectors are only um, performed for 10 years, so our house was built in 1999. We have a house full of uh, smoke detectors that are now 23, 24 years old. Uh, I think that their ability to do smoke detection is off. So I went ahead and ordered this stack of smoke detectors for the whole house. Uh, these are by Kid. Um, so I'm gonna replace most of them with these standard ones. But then after some more research on each floor, I'm also going to add one Nest Protect. Uh, since we have gas fireplaces, as you can see in the background, hopefully back there, I think carbon dioxide detection is also critical. The Nest Protect does all this uh, fantastically. They talk to each other. They're good at telling if smoke is from just uh, using your kitchen as a, you know, just cooking, or if it's actually an emergency. Talks to our phone, gives alerts, has a ring on it to light up the hallway. Uh, these are, you can get two versions of this. One is uh, battery powered, one connects into the um, whole house um, wired. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and then I'm gonna spend a little bit of time to install this uh, and then I'll come back and show you a little bit about uh, it functioning uh, in our hallway. So you can see the cool lights and everything else on it. So Google Nest Protect, opening this up. As I said, I've already got the Nest app installed on all of our phones for uh, configuring the uh, learning thermostat threes that we have around the house. So this is going to be um, the Nest Protect. Let's see how this looks. Pop it out. So that's it. It's pretty big. A little heavy. This is the battery powered one. I was worried about life and replacing batteries, but I guess it has a lithium ion battery and this was the last five years, so I figured that's fine. We'll just go ahead and use all the battery powered ones. I'm gonna replace, put these in, even though they're battery powered, I am gonna put them into the same locations as our, some of our current um, installed uh, smoke detectors. So um, that's no problem, but I could put them anywhere just because they're battery powered. You can put them on the wall. They said put about three feet from the ceiling, you can put on the wall, or you can put on the ceiling, which is fine too. Both uh, perfectly acceptable for carbon, di carbon dioxide and smoke detection. So that's it. Let's see. Here's the little plate to help us install it. And then some, what else is in the box here? That's it. Looks like there's some screws in here that we might need for installing the plate. And just to make sure, nothing else. That's it. Okay, Google Nest Protect. Let's go install it and we'll come right back. Okay, that's it. All three Nest Protects installed. Here it is in the dark with the nightlight on, which has been pretty cool. We've been using that the last few days. Let me turn on the power so you can see. Uh, here's our Nest thermostat installed. Uh, that's the learning thermostat 3. But here's the Nest Protect in the hallway. Uh, works pretty well. Set up in the Nest app. If you push the button... Ready in the hallway. Press to test. <laughs> as the uh, can talk to you. But uh, I guess one thing that I wasn't thrilled about was you can't see it yet in the Google Home app. You have to go into the Nest app um, and then it's it's there and it works and I've done quite a bit of googling here. Let me get here. So uh, That seems to be a feature that's been coming um, Google and Nest have said for about a year that it is going to be migrated into the Google Home app But you can't see it there yet. I'm not sure what I would do even if I did see it there But I just kind of like to have everything all in one place But it is comforting to know that I've got all three floors covered with CO2 and um smoke detection installed. So that's it. 
Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll catch you next time on the Vanderkin verse.